Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 really surprising iPhone hidden features. I say surprising because these are features that are actually not that new. Most of them have been here for a long time, but surprisingly enough, a lot of people don't know about them and of course don't use them on their device. Now, another thing a lot of you guys are not using is the subscribe button just underneath this video. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed, so please make sure to do so if you enjoy the videos because it really helps out a lot. And of course, smash the like button for this video to do much, much better. For the first hidden feature, we're heading on to Safari. So let's say you're on Safari, of course you have your tabs and your links open and everything, but then by accident you just close one of your tabs. You wanna get it back, you will have to go to history to find it or just retype right here the address or the link that you have been visiting but there is of course a much much easier and quicker way to regain access to the recently closed tab so let's just say i just closed this tab all i have to do is on a blank space here just double tap with three fingers and just like that i can undo that process and get back the tab i have just closed Whenever you're on the iMessage app and you wanna send a picture to someone, of course, all you have to do is just tap this button right here and it takes you to your photo library. Let's just go there and let me show you guys a pretty useful feature. So once you tap there, of course, you will see your pictures just like this. Now, if you have, of course, a lot of pictures and maybe you're trying to find a picture that you have taken like a long time ago, that will take a lot of time to find it by browsing here. But did you know that the actual zoom in and out that works on the Photos app works here as well? So you can see just like that, I can zoom out and even have the months and the years display here. So as easy as that, I can just go ahead, zoom out on all the pictures that I have and quickly find that out, the one that I wanna send on iMessage. So this is really, really cool. Now, of course you can zoom in even further and zoom out just like this. So it's really cool and of course one of the most useful features when it comes to iMessage. This right here is a very small but yet very useful feature. You know whenever you select the text on iOS you will get this menu. But of course we have more here, we have a lot of tabs, but there is a very little arrow right there that allows us to move between these and most of the times you will tap something else instead of tapping that arrow. But there is of course always a, in, an easier way to do things. All you have to do is just swipe like this on the menu and you can move here between the different tabs that it will display once you have selected something on your iOS device. Now this right here is a pretty popular feature, you probably have seen this a lot of times. When you're typing something and you need a number, you tap and hold here, swipe to the number, release it, and it goes back to the letters. That's of course super useful and a very nice feature to know. But did you know that it also works backwards? So let's say you're on the numbers here, maybe you're typing a password and you have a letter there. All I have to do is just tap and hold here, go to the letter, release it, and it will go back to the numbers. So it doesn't just go from letters to numbers to letters, it goes from numbers to letters to numbers. On the stock mail of your iOS device, you will have your mailboxes right here. Of course, it will display the different mailboxes from different accounts that you have added to the mail settings. But of course, you can rearrange these. These will be automatically here set, of course, based on whenever you have added any of your mailboxes. But all you have to do is just go ahead, tap and hold one of them, and you can just rearrange them and place them in any order you want. Let's stay here on the stock mail app of iOS. So you know that you have the option to actually move different emails between different folders. So if I go here, I have a few emails on the trash folder here. I wanna move them to another folder. Of course, you can do that, but it will take quite a few actions. There's always an easy way. You tap and hold one of these and just go ahead and drag it like this. You can even tap on more. So I can select here three different emails, go back and then just release them here on any of the different folders that I have. Release like that. You can see now we have all those three emails right here. That's how easy it is to move mails, emails between different folders on the stock mail app of iOS. And now we're talking about the home bar on iOS, which was first introduced, of course, with the iPhone 10 once the physical home button was gone. It still works the exact same way as the home button. The only thing it doesn't have is, of course, 
the Touch ID feature, but the other things it has in the same functions that the home button did, the same functions are done by the home bar as well, even though a lot of people don't realize this. And one thing that I really like is that of course, the duty of the home bar, which was also the same on the home button, is to take you to the home of your iPhone. And home means the first page of apps that you have on your iPhone. So if I'm on an app, you can see I swipe here, it goes to the home screen. But if you just have a lot of pages, you don't have to actually swipe like this to go to the first page. Always swipe up here and it will take you to the first page of apps to the home screen of your iPhone. So from wherever you are, all you have to do is swipe up and it will always take you back to the home page, which is basically done the same way with the home button, the physical home button. If you have one of those devices, just try it out from any page of apps. Once you tap it, it will take you to the first page. Another feature that a lot of people don't know about is that all the buttons that we get on apps that have this part at the bottom with different tabs like this, all of them work like a back button. They will take you to the, their front page. So here we're on the apps section. If I go here and let's say I go somewhere here, I can just tap this and it will take me to the front page. So you can see how cool that is. And it of course makes your life much, much easier, allowing you to always go back really fast. Tap right there and you will always be on the front page with one click. Now here's another really cool feature. This will work on the settings app, but it only works of course when you use it on the landscape mode. So right here, if I go on the landscape mode, if I just go somewhere, anywhere on the settings app, let's say we go here to accessibility, display and brightness here. I want to go back. You can see there are like three or four different levels. I went here. If I just tap, it will take me to the front of the accessibility settings. So it doesn't matter where you go here. I can go here, go here, just tap and you will be back on the front page of each of these sections. And last but not least, a very, very useful feature and a very nice tip for everyone who uses this iOS feature, the drag and drop. This is super cool, but I've just put it at the end of the video because I'm not really sure if I have posted about this feature like a few weeks or maybe even months ago. So if I did, sorry, if I didn't, you will learn something new today. So here is how drag and drop will work the easiest way for you. Now, let's say we want to get a photo, send it on an iMessage. What people would do is probably just drag the photo here, go back, go into iMessage here, and then of course, release the photo to send it on iMessage. But the easiest way to do this let me just delete this one right here. So the easiest way to do this is simply drag the photo and all you have to do is to swipe here on the home bar to go to the other app. Just like that, you can move between apps. You don't actually need to go to the home and then go back here to the app. All you have to do is just drag like this. You can swipe here to switch between different apps and of course release it on the app you want to. Just like that, you can go ahead and quickly maybe send a photo or anything you want. Now, there is another way to do this. So if you just go ahead and drag this, if you don't have the app right here, you can just swipe up to go to the app switcher. And of course, select the app that you want to use. So if I just want to do it on notes, I can just go here and release it just like that. So go to the app switcher without having to go to the home screen at all. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 hidden features of iPhone that I believe every iPhone user must know and use them on their device. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.